A deadly confrontation on the streets of Egypt as police clash with Coptic Christian demonstrators, leaving two of them dead. The protest was over the building of a church the government deemed illegal. The right to build churches freely is just one of the many basic rights cops want in a society where many feel marginalized amidst increasing tensions with the state and the Muslim majority. How to get those rights in a country where they remain politically underrepresented despite making up around 10% of the population is the challenge facing candidates like Romani Khalifa and the community at large. Nobody is preventing anybody from running. I'm calling on everyone to run in these elections, Muslim or Christian. Political participation is one of the ways the church believes cops can have a greater say in society at large, and it was part of the message delivered at the Virgin Mary Church in Cairo. In today's sermon, I warn that we all must go to the polls and that we, the church, are also helping those without voter registration cards. And we will even deliver it to their homes. In a country where the lines between religion and state are often blurred, some make their electoral choice based purely on faith. We don't know anything about the candidates. Our priest says, vote for so-and-so candidate and we vote for him. Others believe the ruling National Democratic Party exploits the church and by extension Christians in exchange for their vote and financial support. Some believe the ballot box alone will not solve their problems. There should be a quota for the cops. There is no way the cops would be able, and given this climate that we live in Egypt, uh, given the fact that the cops are marginalized by the government itself, there is no way the cops would be able to um, enter the parliament by themselves. While the regime constantly pushes religion out of politics, Sunday's elections will serve as a reminder that regardless of faith, politics in Egypt is still influenced by religion. Ayman Mohideen Al-Jazeera, Cairo.